What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a video going to be explaining to you guys how you can get duplicate untradables onto your tradable transfer list. Um, if you guys find this useful or enjoy this, dropping a thumbs up would be absolutely amazing. It is a glitch. I don't know if EA will care to, you know, input the resources required to patch it. But as I said, I want to show you guys... Um, that you can get it so somebody in my stream today showed told me that it could happen i was kind of skeptical but then they proved to me how it happens and you can see here see how this perisic is all the way at the end you'll notice he is an untradeable uh, i packed him as a duplicate untradeable now what i'm going to do guys is we're actually going to have we've i've got four uh ucl upgrade packs hopefully i'll pack an untradeable in here so i can show you how it works now what you're going to need is you're going to need well first of all like somebody asked me actually what if you don't get what if you just have a regular duplicate tradable or something like that? In that case, you could just send the tradable to the club. I don't want to do it with Demi Obey because it needs to be worth it. Um, you can spend, you can send one to the club and one to the trade pile if you just get a you know a regular duplicate. That's not a problem. Uh, what you're going to need to get a, if you've got a duplicate untradable is two things. Number one, you are going to need trade pile space, but only a couple of slots. And number two, you're going to need a, a healthy amount of coins to be able to purchase your duplicate untradeable. Uh, I know that sounds a bit weird. I'm going to get there in a second. If I don't get a good uh, duplicate untradeable, obviously I don't have a du uh, duplicate there. If I don't get a duplicate untradeable that's worthy out of these last two packs, we will go back and do it with that Ivan Pedesic so you guys can see. Um, it's a good way to store... Oh, who's that? Is that Pulisic? It's a good way to store um, high-rated duplicate untradables from your... Uh, basically from any rewards. And it will cost you, at worst, 5% tax at the cost of the card. And I will explain that in a second. Again, I don't want to do it with Ferry. I want to do it with someone that's at least like 10,000 coins. So if we don't get anything good out of this UCL2 player pack... Um, or if we don't get a duplicate, I'll get that Perisic back and we'll go from there. So we get another board here. It's going to be Victor Wanyama. Now, I believe i have victor wanyama as a as a uh is he expensive he might be like 6k i don't think it's worth doing him either we'll do it with perisic i think so he's not even a, an untradeable so um basically basically um i'm gonna need to let me purchase a player no i need i need to i need to do it with with an actual untradeable let me get let me build another one of those packs guys and we'll just do it with the first untradeable so i can show you how it works all right guys so i've got another pack here i promise you i'm not trying to waste your time um but i do need i i could do it with a low budget player but i don't want to do it with a low budget player because i want you guys to see why it's not worth it necessarily doing it with low end players so i want to do it with a high end player um even just an 82 or an 83 walkout i don't think we're going to get even boards there hopefully one of these is uh duplicate otherwise i'm going to go off camera and keep doing okay so we've got a duplicate so we're going to do it with this guy veer giver okay so i have him as a duplicate untradeable uh well i believe so anyway let me swap those around so yeah he is a it, i have two untradeables just so you can see that there what you need to do now is compare price and go and buy the cheapest one. So you are, of course, going to have to make sure that you get onto Futbin and make sure that you get the absolute cheapest one, right? Because if you get, you, you want, like, you need to buy the cheapest one to minimize your your loss of coins for storing a duplicate and tradable. So the cheapest one here is supposedly 2,100 coins. So if I see one at 2.1k, um, I'll buy it. There's 2.5s, 2.3s uh 2.7 i don't think we're going to get one at two point okay so 2.3 is the cheapest it's actually good that this is we're doing it with him because there's not many of them on the market there's only two at 2.3 so what you want to do guys you want to go and buy your um your player assign him and then you want to send him to the club see how now we have the duplicate untradeable as one and the du the tradable duplicate as two and then the first obviously we have already one of him in the club so what you want to do is switch him around with the untradable uh, now he's in the club and now we have two, uh, you can see two untradables that we can't do anything with. What you want to do now is exit items and sort later. So we've got the two untradable Vir Givers and we've got one tradable Vir Giver. What we're going to do is we're going to go to here. We're going to go to quality special position center back. We're going to get Vir Giver 76 rated and we are going to send him to the transfer list. Obviously happy days. No problem at all. Now, the next thing you need to do is you just need to go and buy an item from the market. Anything you want, buy now. Just for me, 200 max bin, buy now. You want to just go and buy yourself the first item that you see. We pick him up, we assign him. 
Now, what you're going to have is you're going to have a situation where uh, we've now got the untradable, the bronze, and the untradable. Go up to your transfer list, get your tradable, and drop him down. So now we've got three on the market here, obviously. You want to drop this down. So from this point on, guys, what you want to do is you want to, as you quick sell him, you're going to end up sending this guy into the club, right? So you discard him, and it sends, now you, now you have two items. Switch these two around. Now you've got two untradables again. Exit and sort items later. Try and go into the store. You have some items to deal with. And boom. We only have one Vieux Gevere. And then on the trade pile, so we're now going to back out. Well, we don't have to back out now. We can actually switch him around for the tradable one. We can pop the tradable one back up. We get out of the, the squad. I'm going to do it one more time just so you guys are fully aware and can fully see. I, and I'll build another pack to show you that I can do it with more than one player. And now when we go to the trade pile, what we're going to see is that we are going to have at the back end of the trade pile here, uh, all the way at the very end because they're untradable, of course. We now have untradable Pedisic and untradable Vier Gevere. Untradable. You can see it on the screen there. You can try to list them, but it, it won't work. It'll just boot you out of Ultimate Team. You have to come back in. Uh, this is the one that I purchased. Now, the reason why I was happy to purchase him is because his lowest bin is 2300. There you go. One at 2300, two at 2300. So it, when I list him again to sell him, I'll sell him for 2300. I'm going to lose 140 coins on tax. But obviously, you don't like you don't want to do it with a guy this low rated because it's just not worth holding on to him, right? Because he's not more ex expensive enough. You want to do it with somebody who's really expensive. So what I'm going to go and do, dudes, is I'm going to go and build a few more of these packs. And we're going to keep going until we get like a good 82 or 83. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I've got another one. Um, I've got another one. I actually just had another one and it, it went all went tits up. So I want to first of all explain uh, what you can do this with. Um... Well, let me get a duplicate untradable first. Let me, uh, hopefully this is going to be a duplicate untradable. It's a walkout. I mean, that is a good start. Hopefully it's a walkout that I've already got because this will be a prime, prime example of exactly what I want. Belgian centre-back is going to be Vincent Company. Now, I do have him in the club. I don't know if it's a duplicate untradable or a duplicate tradable. It is a duplicate. Please be a perfect this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. So Ben Takur can go, right? So what you're going to want to do, and, and before we get into what you want to do, I want to again explain to you guys that you can do this with anything other than the red inform cards. You could do this with icons, informs, UCL cards, uh, regular gold. So if at the end of the week, when you get your reward, you take untradable again, and you get, say, a duplicate Paul Pogba that's untradable, and you're like, oh no, I have to do like get rid of him for nothing. You don't. What you can do is you can store him on your trade pile until a SBC comes out where he has massive value for you. Then you can use the one in your club, go and get the other one from your trade pile and put him back into your club. So you're in a position like I'm in right now where you're like, holy crap, I've got two untradable Vincent companies. Obviously, if Raheem Sterling wins player of the month and you need a high rated Man City squad, this is a great card to have and to use. So we're going to want to save him. Now, his price on the market is seemingly about 20,000 coins. So we want to go and buy this Vincent company for 20,000 coins. Now, bear in mind again, guys, this is going to cost you um, This is going to cost you the price of um, the tax of Vincent company. Okay, sorry, I'm starting my words there. Uh, I just, I'm looking at my trade pile space and I know I don't have much. This is going to cost you the price of Vincent company. Now, of course, what I'm doing as well is you're going to have to scroll through to try and find the cheapest one. I think the cheapest I saw there was actually like 23,000. Uh, so if we see anything less than 23,000 for the sake of the video, I'll just purchase that one. But I want you guys to go and buy the cheapest one. Uh, so 24,000 there. Yeah, I think 23,000 is the cheapest. All these 40,000 ones. 30,000, 26,000. I'm not going to buy the 26,000 one. We'll go back and get that 23k one because he is the cheapest by a couple of thousand coins. So I'll actually be able to sell him on for a little bit of profit as well. Um, maybe not a lot of profit. but So we're going to buy this Vincent Company for 23,000 coins. We're going to assign him now. Uh, the extra player that we have that's untradable is largely irrelevant. So once again, so we can we could drop Ben Takur down because we don't need him. What we want to do here, in fact, I also want to drop, I want to just want a little bit of trade pile space. So we're going to drop Mandanda down as well. So we've got ourselves our untradable company and our tradable company that we just purchased from compare price. And we've got one company in the club, of course, but that's why we've got a duplicate untradable. So what you want to do is get your tradable, swap in with the untradable, we're now in a position where we have two 
untradeables. I can't do anything with these. I'm going to discard the items that are in the club, of course. Um, we're now going to back out, exit and sort items later. Okay. I just want to test real quick. It, I should have two here. If I don't have two here, this is even better. Yeah, so I have two here. We have two items. That's exactly what we want to have, right? Two untradeable Vincent companies. We exit, we sort items later. We go back into the club. We go and get that Vincent company. Premier League special. Um, and there he is. And we place this one on the transfer list. It's that simple. So far, all we've done is bought that company, placed him into the club, and traded him with the untradeable. We've got the two untradeables off the... In, in the, uh, like unsigned items or whatever and we've now got the tradable vincent company on the transfer list so we go into the transfer market we go and purchase the first item that we can get just whatever you want for 200 coins for bronze pack method guys this is going to be great because you're going to sell random cards for 200 coins for no reason when we buy this it now takes us back to the position where we have the three vincent companies we go up into our trade pile and we're going to go and get that third vincent company the tradable one that we just sent to the trade pile okay uh, where is he? So he's there. We drop him into the keep items section. So this is what we do now. We now send Musonda down to quick sell. We actually quick sell him. Quick sell him for the coins. We're again in a position where we've got two Vincent companies, one tradable, one untradable. We now just switch around the tradable and untradable. Exit and sort items later. And now go back into the store. And now we will only have one Vincent company. And one Vincent company is up on the trade pile. So I don't know why it does it. I don't know how it does it. We can switch these two around again. This is why you need a bit of trade pile space. We can send this Vincent company up to the transfer list. And we're now in a position where once again, we have, and this is actually perfect for me because I'm going to keep that Vincent company there. We have a tradable Vincent company that we can now go on again and sell. Uh, I'm going to list him up for 23,000 coins that I paid for him. Now, if you're smart, because like if, in terms of some golds, maybe it's like, again, what we've got to remember is some golds is not worth it. If, if the card's worth only 1,000 or 2,000 coins, the tax that you're going to pay on trying to store it by buying and reselling the one is not necessarily going to be great. For me, this Vincent Company, to store an 86 rated card that's going to cost me about 1,000 coins in tax, it's great instead of just discarding him or throwing him away in another SBC. If you're really smart and you actually buy a player off the market really cheap, you can actually sell them for a profit and make a profit on the, the holder that you need, the tradable one. You can actually make a profit off of them if you're really smart. Um, then when we go all the way to the back end of our trade pile, one more time, um, go down to page 8, page 9, and then finally page 10. You see right at the very, very end here, Vincent Company, untradable, is now on the market or on the trade pile, and the other Vincent company is now safely in the club, and they will just stay there. And that's all you have to do, dudes. We've now got the untradeable Vera Giver, the untradeable uh, Perisic, and the untradeable Vincent company just sitting here on the trade pile, doing not a lot. Uh, I don't want those guys. And and you could do any, like, it doesn't matter what you do, these guys will stay here now. Now, as I said before, he's untradeable, right? This Vera Giver. You can try and sell him, it will just kick you off. Uh, it kicks you out of Ultimate Team. You can go back into Ultimate Team. No dramas. You're still gonna be. You're still gonna have your players on the trade pile. Your untradeables will still be there. It's not like it's now gonna push them into unassigned items and you're gonna have to do that all again. No, no, not at all. They're still gonna be there. Um, now again, this might be patched. I don't know if EA are gonna bother to patch something like this because it doesn't have great value. The reason why it doesn't have great value is because you need to get a duplicate untradeable in the first place. Place to make it have any value and you actually like in in some senses this is actually a good thing for ea because people will just start buying and selling cards which will cost them tax in order to just store a card for an SBC. so i've managed to store vincent company worth twenty thousand coins and ivan perisic who is worth sixty thousand coins so i've managed to store eighty thousand coins worth of untradeable players on my trade pile for the the price of tax of each card so about five thousand coins i am delighted with that it's going to save me in the long term a lot of coins that though dudes is exactly how maybe hopefully you guys get this and hopefully it's not too confusing for me it took me a while to get my head around it um but that is how you can store untradeable items on your trade pile um if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace